Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about calculated fields. I'll show you how to perform calculations in your queries. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to do a form footer total as well. Today's question comes from Harold from Las Vegas, Nevada, one of my Platinum members. Harold says, I'm trying to figure out the value of my inventory. I have the cost of each item and the quantity I have on hand. How do I go about calculating the total value of my inventory? Well, Harold, this is pretty straightforward to do. We need to learn how to do a calculated query field and then a form footer total. And I'll show you them both in this video. Here I am in my Tech Help blank database template. If you'd like to learn how I put this template together, you can find a copy of it down below. I'll put a link. But you can do this in any database that you want. Let's create a table to store our values. I'm going to start off with my item ID. That'll be my auto number. How about a description? That'll be short text. We'll need the quantity on hand, so I'll just put quantity, QTY. That'll be a number. I'm going to make that a number of type double. That way I can store fractional components if you ever have to have half of something. Or if you're tracking cases, for example, you might have half a case on the shelf. Okay. There's a unit cost. That'll be my currency value. Now, this is all we need to store in the table. Yes, you can do calculations in tables, but the accepted best practice is to do the calculations in a query. I'll talk more about this in the extended cut. Let's save this table as my item T. Primary key, yes, that'll make it my auto number. And let's put some data in this table. Okay, let's say I've got triple bait. I've got uh, 15 of those at $12 a piece. I've got a uh, photon torpedo. Maybe three of those at $150 a piece. And how about a 3D chess board? And there's 12 of those in stock, and they sell for 75 bucks. Okay, that's enough for now. Now, the first thing we have to do is calculate our line total, okay, or our extended cost, whichever you want to call it. It's going to be quantity times unit cost. To do that, we're going to create a calculated query field. So close the table. Save changes, yes. Now, all the data in your database is stored in the table. Queries allow us to view the data in different ways, including sorting, filtering, and performing calculations. There's no need to store the calculated value in the table if we can calculate it on the fly. You save yourself a lot of space that way, too. All right, so create query design. Now, if you've never built a query before, I've got videos on query design. Go watch those. I'll put a link down below in the links section for you. I'm going to add my item T, the table I just created. Close that. Let's bring in all the fields, the star. Let's just bring all those fields into the query. Now, right here, We'll put our calculated query field. And it's going to look like this. Extended cost, EXT cost, colon, set this equal to what other two fields? Quantity times unit cost. And then press Enter or Tab. Now, since I didn't use any spaces in my field names like you shouldn't, I didn't have to put these brackets around those fields. If you've got spaces like unit space cost, in your table field names, then you have to remember to manually put those brackets on there. All right, but that's why I teach in my beginner class, don't put spaces in your, in your table names, in your field names, in your query names, all that stuff. Leave the spaces out of it. Okay, let's save this query. I'm going to hit Control S to save. I'm going to call this my item Q, my item query. And now if I run it, you can see there's all my extended costs. All right, 15 times 12 is 180. 3 times 150 is 450. If you want to format this column to show up as a currency, go back to Design View. On the column, right-click, go to Properties, and then right here in Format, you can pick Currency. And then save it, and then rerun it again. And there you go. There's your extended cost. Now, to calculate the total down here on the bottom for all of your items, we're going to load this data into a form. Now, in my template here, I've created a continuous form, all right, looks like this, that I can bring this data into. 
If you don't know how to build a continuous form, again, I've got videos on that. Go watch that next, and that'll teach you how to make continuous forms. I also show how to do it in the blank template video. I'll put a link to both of those things down below. Now that you know how to make a continuous form, let's go over here. I'm going to copy this guy. Copy, paste. We'll call this my item F, my item form. Okay, right click, design view. Now I just have to tell this form where to get its data from. So open up the forms properties right here, double click. On the all tab, find the record source and pick item Q. All right, now this form is bound to that query. So I can put those fields right in here. Okay, this guy can now be in the control source here, the item ID. All right, and I'll copy and paste that up to the name. This guy can be the next field, which will be the description, right? Copy, paste, okay? Or you can bring the fields in from the add existing fields. I have these already formatted, like I have the ID gray, and this box is white, and I cover that in the template video. All right, but now I'll bring over quantity, unit cost, and extended cost. I'll click on quantity, hold down the shift key, click on that last one, and then click and drag and drop them right there in that detail section. And I'll just delete these labels. Delete, delete, delete because we'll put new labels above them okay quantity can go here unit cost can go next to it all right and extended cost can go on the end and I'm going to make extended cost gray just like this guy is I'll format paint it watch format there's the format painter and then paste on that guy it's a calculated field so gray just tells the user you can't change that okay all right so close that up close that up we could put our Labels across the top, copy, paste, 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 right? Just paste those over there. Slide them over here, kind of, right? And if you've never done this before, go watch those videos because I cover this in detail. All right, there's the quantity label right across the top. There's the unit cost label right there. And then we'll put the extended cost right out here. Okay, save that, close it and then reopen it again, item F. And look at that. All right, my ID, description, quantity, unit cost, and the extended cost right next to it. Now, down here on the bottom in the form footer, we'll put a total field down there. So back to design view. All right, I'm going to copy this extended cost, copy, and then paste it down here in the form footer. All right, and if your form footer isn't on, just right-click anywhere in here on one of these bands. See these different bands here? Right-click on any one of them, and just make sure your form header footer is on, not the page header footer. That's different. We don't use that. Okay, that's for printing, and we don't print forms. We use forms on the screen. Reports are for printing. Okay, but now i got a copy of that extended cost down here. Save it, close it, and take a look at it and see what you got. Well, it doesn't look right. It's got whatever value I happen to be on up top here. See that? So what we have to do is we have to sum these up using the sum function. Okay, so come right here. Close the field list if it's still open. Open up the properties for the extended cost. Double click on it, or you can click on property sheet. Okay, right here for the control source, instead of just extended cost, I'm going to put in here equals the sum of the extended cost. Just like that. Sum of extended cost, all in parentheses like that. See that? I'll zoom in for you. There you go. The sum function says sum up all of the extended costs on this form. And we'll change the name so it's not text 10 to sum extended cost, just like that. Okay, now save it, close it, open it back up again. There you go. There's your total. And that is how you get your entire total for all of your items in inventory. First, you get the line item total, the extended cost in a query. Yes, you can do this calculation here directly in the form too, in addition to the table. The query is the best place because if you want to use this value anywhere else in a different form, in some reports, okay, you don't have to keep making that calculation over and over again. It exists right here in this query. So base everything else, other forms, other reports, base them off of this query. Plus, if this calculation ever changes in the future, you only have to change it in one spot this query. You don't have to go change all your different forms and all your different reports. Okay, so trust me, put your calculations that are based on each record in a query. Okay, 
So that's it. That's calculated query fields and form footer totals. I hope you learned something today. Want to learn more? In the extended cut for members, we'll talk about those calculated table fields. Yes, you can actually store calculations in your tables and in forms directly. I'll talk about what they are, how to do them. I'll show you how to do them. And we'll talk about whether or not they're good and whether you should stick with queries or not. Then we'll bring this over into reports. I'll show you how to put a running balance in your report. And I'll show you how to use a report page footer. Normally, you have to do just a report footer. It's a trick to get you to put a total on the bottom of each page. So in case you have a multi-page report and you want to see a, a total for each page, I'll show you how to do that in the extended cut as well. Reminder, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. We're over 100 tech help videos and we're getting very close to 100 extended cuts as well. So there's lots of material to watch. Well worth your membership. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.